Afternoon YouTubers, just finished building my Prusa 4, MK4, bought the kit, and it's a nice printer, a very nice printer. It's a lot faster, I have got uh, two others, I've got the, the 3S, and just over there, I got the 2S. That was my first one, obviously. Both working, no problem. But I do like this new one. Um, on the, as I was building it, I ran into a few few little snags. Nothing, nothing major. I just like to point these out to you, so it might help you as you uh, as you as you're doing your build. Obviously, I built three. This is my third one I built. I can't stress enough when you get all the bits and pieces for it because there are a lot of pl little plastic bags with little different nuts and screws and bolts and washers and springs. There's everything in there. You get all your spanners, screwdrivers, everything. It's, it's a fantastic kit. It really is. It's a joy to make. I really enjoyed making it. Um, like every it's like everything when the first one you build is always the the slowest one build the second one I'd fly, I'd fly through it I think it took me about eight hours roughly on and off but as I was building it I did find a couple of little snags where I, I can't stress enough don't open all those packets up and just tip all the screws out I used um, for, you get a lot of screws which are the same you get about 30 odd which are the same so I tipped all them into one of these I've, pr I've printed one of these off. Helps, really helps. Um, as you get your bits and pieces out, put them back in a in the packets. The big packet they can't they come in. There's several big packets. Everything is itemised. What's in that bag? It's really helpful, and it does take. The only the only part is when you keep putting them back in is get get gets a bit monotonous. But you know where they are. They do give you spares, but don't rely on that. Um, just You can rely on the spares, sorry, but don't rely on just dropping them on the floor and oh, I'll, I'll pick that up tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Just get the screws you want, put them in a row, follow the instructions to the letter. Um, I, did the, the, I didn't have a book, uh, a paper, copy i had the i went on the internet and got went straight to prusa and downloaded their their um mk4 assembly program as as you look at the instructions you'll probably see three pictures sometimes you forget to click on the picture if you click on the three pictures it'll, it will give you a little routine of how to put it all together so you'll get if you say you're putting the bed on, it will give you say three three pictures of how to put the screws in. Look at every picture. Don't miss one out because that's that's where you can fall fall foul um, on your on your build. Um, there's a couple of things um, I did make a list of uh, little things. Yeah, yeah. The the cable run. When you put your cable, your cable in, loosely fit it all the way round to the the main um, electric box, which is which is which is over there. The cable I'm on about is the ribbon. The ribbon cable. You've just about got enough to do the job. It's got a little bit, so about a little bit over. Uh, I can't really measure it, but that's the cable in there. And these cable clips here, they're a little bit tough to get in. I I I help them in with the nose the nose pliers. I just pushed them in with the nose pliers. And a little bit, it may have been a bit cold, and the plastic's a bit stiff, but they they went in eventually. They're a little bit awkward. Uh, what you clean the bed with is uh, that sort of stuff. This is a they give you a little pack. And it's got um, isopong in, in there, and um, yeah, don't use acetone. Acetone is a no-no. They tell you not to use acetone, 
and read read the manual the manual is uh, well it's not the manual it's the handbook sorry you can get the manual but you have to find it when you're ordering it look for it it's in the extras i think it is i i forgot to do it but uh, never mind i wasn't I wasn't i'm not too fussed yeah uh when it, when it was up and running um well let's go back a little bit it didn't um it didn't do the self test straight away what it was it was the belt uh the belt was too loose they give you this program um you can put it onto your phone it's a bit um it picks up the the sound and as you pluck the uh as you pluck you can hear a dumb your phone will pick that up and it'll tell you i think it's 94 one i think that one's 94 and i think that one's about 82. so it picks that up and think was it qr code yeah you you, you put your phone on the uh, qr code and then uh, it gives us a little program and you blah 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 it's, it, it's easy enough but i didn't um i couldn't tune it properly so all this this keeps doing is bouncing backwards and forwards on this end here so cured that problem you will adjust it in there well you'll see all that when you build it you adjust it in there slacken slacken these three off here i i did about half a turn and then because you've got a bit of tension on it and then just tweak that down you only need to move it a, a whisker a real small amount but other than that it's um it's a real good printer very fast very fast it's a lot faster than that with the uh, the um the 3s it's a lot faster than that i will it did it did a uh what do they call these i can't remember what they call them did them there's not much difference to be honest in the quality there's not much difference at all um when i did i did print something off um because i'm building i'm building something for my railway uh i printed it off and i wanted to print something else again straight away well it doesn't go straight up to full temperature it go it only goes up to 170. so as soon as i put I, I asked it to go again just like i would just like i would with the uh, 3s that's no problem it goes but this the the four it goes to 170 it does all its tests it does a little routine and then it waits in the corner waits for the temperature to go up to what is it 230 comes down taps the bed pr starts printing but it didn't like it when the nozzle was too hot so i put it on it went a bit wonky to be honest it came up it went to do its routine and it got stuck in a corner here and it kept bouncing about so i just turned it all off realized what i'd done because the nozzle was above 170 and it didn't like it um it's probably in the in the handbook somewhere but you have to let it cool down so when you start printing if, if it goes down to 150 160 it's okay but i think it was probably still on 200 because i was a little bit impatient i wanted to get the next batch of printing done so i, ju I just carried on with it but that's a no-no uh well that's what happened with me anyway and i do realize it, it should have been 170. but other than that it's um it's a learning it's just i mean it's just like this one um the bed leveling on these two was a pain in the ass, to be honest. <laughs> it was a pain in the ass when I built them. But once once they've been leveled and they're okay, brilliant. And I always, I mean, on the on the three S, I always put a smear of glue down with the old glue stick. It it works. It works. I don't have one failure on there, not one. The only failure I have is if I've designed something and it it hasn't come out properly. I, there's a flaw in the program or i've done something wrong 
but other than that never get ever get um a rejected part on there this quality the quality of this is excellent absolutely excellent and the finish the your first layer is absolutely brilliant it's smooth this is this is the one on this machine that's very smooth and that's the one on that machine Ben is it Benchy Benchy yeah Benchy um, one little nick in the bow there I think you see it there's a little nick in the in the bow other than that there's not much difference and that's the truth there's not much difference at all if there's anything wrong with these machines I would tell you um, because I'll be on to Prusa and tell them but no I think I'm going to leave it there other than don't chuck all your nuts and bolts all over the place if you've got a big area you can get them out of the packets and line them up that that would be brilliant but as you can see I haven't got a lot of room in here this my, is my little office uh, I did I built it I built it here yes um, I, I can't really say any more about it uh, I mean his proof is in the pudding and so we get on with you I have pr I printed quite a lot of stuff off it took me I say it took me eight hours to build it. it took me about three hours to sort the little problems out with the belts oh and the bearings the bearings on this side they have to be in the middle of the um, bracket. They give you a bracket. You bolt the brackets on loosely, slide your bearing in. It has to be in the middle. Mine was slightly um, one side, I think, and it it, it wouldn't it wouldn't um, self test. So I had to alter that as well. So I re retested everything, set everything, and now she's running like a, a dream yeah but don't forget when you do this um when you do print say you printed that off and you want to print it again straight away let it cool down um because mine did go a bit i wire it, did, it didn't like it it came up on the screen um nozzle too hot so and it went stalled over there it was a bit it was a bit scary because i thought the same problem had come back um when i first built it anyway i'm gonna leave you there i say i bought i built three of them and they all work fine but i may be selling the the uh the s the 2s not sure yet i might find a job for it but if you can if you can get any of them print them off if you got a print obviously if you get any any little cups uh i use the tops of uh, spray cans a lot as you can see i've also i built my boat as well oh there's a dialect there um yeah oh yeah that's a producer but see how smooth that is that's smooth that's so smooth that's a producer logo well i did uh I did the old Prusa scraper. This is a test run. But I've been designing a lot for my uh, railway truck. I'll put that in the video soon. Uh, I'm doing it on printing a um, five inch scale rail truck. Um, and it's most of it, except for the bearings and the, and the steel axles, it's going to be plastic. Everything's going to be plastic on it. Uh, I've tested the wheels. The wheels run really fine on the track where I where I go to, absolutely fine. I can't. Uh, and steel, I know I suppose have steel wheels, but I want to go and have a go with plastic wheels. I've seen them on uh, YouTube. There's a lad on YouTube. He's got. Uh, I think he's, he's he's actually a train driver. He's. I think he's built about two or three. I don't know. But I, I seen it and I thought I can I can do one of those. Anyway, get a bit on and uh, it's tea time. I'm hungry. Gonna have a shower and I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Have a nice time. Bye bye.